maybe for OpenAI, but if you look at Grok 4 versus Grok 3, that was a pretty giant leap. Okay. And I think what was surprising to me is this is the first time that you know OpenAI has released a new model that was not decisively the best. Here's Grok 3, it comes out, it's, it's the purple line, this is in, this is artificial analysis. Hmm. And then, you know, shortly thereafter, maybe six to eight weeks, O3 comes out and it is clearly significantly better. It's that black dot. And they've had that flex anytime they've been surpassed in the past. And, you know, Google and, and Grok have surpassed OpenAI at times. What shocked me on the next slide, and I do think some of the loss of talent may be beginning to weigh, but, um, you know, a big problem in AI is what's called benchmark saturation, which is just these models are getting so smart that benchmarks that were optimized even for, you know, human graduate students are not sufficient to measure their intelligence. So we've developed these new benchmarks. There's humanity's last exam on the left. And you can, can you see- Can you explain what that is to the audience? It's got such an evocative name. What, what does it mean? 